Uh, is it unresponsive? Uh, no, I just I can't everything else. Okay, nice. All right, so here we go. I'm a uh, BSI. I'm thinking about my personal partner's uh, patient safety. Uh, environment looks safe right now. Um, the street is cleared out. Um, I have one patient. That's him. Um, it was an honor ped, so I want to ask how many imaginary partner holds he's fine when we approach. I see an adult male, uh, conscious and breathing, uh, looking at me, no life threats. Hi, sir. I'm Anthony with the ambulance. Move your head. Hi. What's your name? Nash. Partner, if you take over C-spine? All right. Nash, what happened? Uh, I was hit by a car. Um, that's unfortunate. And what's, uh, what's hurting you the most right now? Uh, just my back, like all over my back. It's, it's a lot of pain. Okay. Uh, just two standard questions. What year is it? Uh, 2017. And what city are you in? Los Angeles. Okay. So um, I know that his airway is good. Um, he has, sorry, he's tracking me with, uh, when I approach, so he's, he's alert. And he's talking to me without difficulty. So um, his area is patent, no need for suction, no need for adjuncts. His breathing rate rhythm, tidal volume effort. Rate is regular, uh, rhythm is regular, tidal volume is adequate, effort is non labored. Uh, need for er uh, early lung sounds? I would say yes. So breathe in and out, breathe in and out. Um, and no need for oxygen at this time. I took his radio pulse, uh, rate rhythm quality. Uh, is regular, regular strong. Uh, color temperature moisture is pink, warm, and dry. Uh, cap breathing fully aware of pediatric, it's under two seconds. Um, and major life uh, threatening bleeding, I don't see anything on the scan. Um, physical deformities, I don't see anything. Neurological disabilities, I didn't notice any. He's A no times four. Um, no, uh, I would do pupils right now because he has a major trauma, uh, possible head injury. And um, I would expose, I'd cut uh, at least that or close out. And um, chief complaint here already told me that it was back pain. Uh, instructor was closer ALS to the hospital. The hospital? All right. So uh, my transport decision is that we're going to uh, uh, load and go. But first, I'm going to do my head to toe on C. Uh, let me know if anything hurts. I'm doing a rapid uh, physical exam, uh, looking for any life threats. You know, they didn't turn here, right? Pain there, take a deep breath in. Okay. Pain in your stomach here? No. All right. Okay. Where's your me? All right. Got good uh, pedal pulses. Uh, which one am I touching? Now? All right. Will your fingers for me? And the pulses, in which uh, hand am I squeezing? Uh, my left hand. Right now? Right hand. Okay. Um, now, uh, rapid is complete. I'm going to do a detail of the neck because um, no longer going to be able to see it. So, decap BTLS. And uh, palpating the neck. I'm looking uh, visually for any JVD uh, or accessory muscle use. I'm palpating for a subcutaneous hemphysema and tracheal deviation. I'm looking for a stoma and I'm speaking for medical alert tags. Uh, imaginary partner, put a collar on. Done. Um, and now I'm going to roll him towards me. So imaginary partners roll. So he'll help you out because you have yeah, imaginary partners. All right. Um, I'm checking the back. Um, also for decap detail, so I can see in the back. Uh, there's a collar there, so I can't see. And I'm palpating the back, walking the spine all the way down. I'm looking for any uh, single edema, uh, sucking back wounds, um, um, accessory muscle use, and uh, subcutaneous edema, um, incontinence. Uh, sweeping the back of the legs for any other decap TLS, rolling him back, and I'm completely immobilizing him on a backboard. Check and see him as again. Done. All right. All right. Uh, now I'd like to be uh, transporting in the ambulance. I'm going to do over here C sample um, and vital signs. Instructor, can you tell me your vital signs? I'm a Bell's RP. Uh, tell me about your eyes, about conscious, lung sounds, good sense, respiration, pulse, and pulse oximetry. So I'll listen back uh, to you. Um, like 120 over 80, uh, pupils for lungs are clear, he's A no times 4, seems our pink warm dry respirations are 18, good tidal volume, non labored, pulse is um, 80 strong and regular, uh, standing at 88%. Okay, um, next step, I'm going to do a detailed assessment. I'm going to be checking for decap detail S, so that stands for deformities, confusions, abrasions, puncture, penetration, head and last series, scars, and swelling, palpitation, effort, tender, sensibility, practice. So let me know if anything good hurts, okay? So I'm just uh, checking the different parts of the head, uh, frontal, temporal, parietal, here. See if there's any asymmetry or depression. Check my hands for gloves, my, my gloves for blood. Um, looking behind the ears for any um, battle signs, any raccoon eyes around the eyes. I already checked pupils. Um, no fluid or CSF uh, blood coming from the ears and nose. No cinched nose hairs are sitting around the uh, nose. Checking the bones of the face as well. OK. 
Okay, here we go. Nose attack. Uh, open your mouth. Uh, okay, no oral trauma. Um, neck, uh, I can't check anymore because I already put the collar on, but I did it before. Checking the, the chest, uh, popping the clavicles, medial to lateral, pressing down and in, popping on top of the chest, going around. Take a deep breath in for me. Spread my fingers wide. Um, and then do sternal stability, either of the methods that you learned. Um, and I already did my lung sounds here, but I could do them um, again. And uh, overall, I'm looking for any uh, sucking chest wounds, uh, accessory muscle use, of things have a uh, paradoxical motion. Moving down to the uh, abdomen, I'm going to be looking for any rigidity distension, uh, guarding um, ecchymosis, uh, bruising around the belly button flanks, um, any pulsating masses, restoration signs of pregnancy. I um, So palpating, this time a little slower now because getting my detailed. Taking the time to really feel. Okay, no pain there. Blanks here. Going down to the pelvis, pressing down and in uh, on the pelvis, but not too hard, if, uh, and not if he has an injury. Um, I don't see any uh, 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 pricus and discharge or incontinence. Um, going down to the legs. This time, taking a little bit more time here. The thing's really hurting here. All right, kneecaps, make sure they're in place, not like in the back of their leg. And going down and doing CMS. Um, can you tell me what toe I'm touching? Oh, my left big toe. Okay, what about now? My right toe. Okay. So good pulses, good strong real pulses. And where are your toes for me? All right, awesome. All right, going up here, your elbow or your shoulder. Good, no pain there? Okay. Okay. What about here? Move that elbow, that shoulder around. Good? Okay. All right, will your fingers to me? And I feel good pulses. And which hand am I, which finger am I squeezing? Oh, my thumb. Okay. Make it obvious here. My left thumb. Okay. All right, uh, so now I'm done with my uh, detail. That's the last box. I'm going to reassess every uh, 15 minutes for him. Um, I'm specifically going to reassess my ABCs, my battle signs, and my chief complaint. Um, if you were unstable, then I would do it every five minutes, and that's it. Uh, the only thing I'd add is if when I said, oh, his skin is pink, warm, and dry, the instructor said, actually, he's cool, pale, diaphoretic, I'm going to say, oh, he must be in shock. shock. And I'm going to do what for him? Supply and oxygen. Yeah. yeah. Oxygen. Warm. Warm. Good. Yeah. That's, it's key identifying shock in the ABCs or the need for oxygen. Because if you need to oxygen, you need to do it during the ABCs. So, um, I would just be like, oh, okay, it's cool by that friend. I'm going to partner, give him some oxygen, cover him with a blanket. Um, he's already supine. I'm going to get going as soon as I can. All right? That's it. And then move on.